It is a representation of the various dimensions of our reality, energy moving through and reactions to the major forces around us. As we have evolved as part of this universal energy and forces, we have created a connection with them that appears real and absolute. We are bound into time. Our ability to think and understand it is dependent on it being real. It's difficult to comprehend an end of time or even a beginning. Surely time must always be. We cannot imagine anything else. We are hitting the brick wall of the way we think. Each concept is bound up within the confines of language and the impact of the building blocks of our mind, our qualia. Our hologram creating minds have been seduced into thinking that time is an absolute reality. As we've seen before, we believe everything our senses tell us. But everything we perceive is just our way of successfully existing in our world. As we have already seen, this is not what is really out there. Time is no different. Once we detached our personal notion of time, we see that it behaves in some very strange ways. We have found that time is intrinsically linked to space in a fabric of space-time. This fabric is affected by the major physical forces, especially gravity, which actually warps it. Time also behaves very differently at very fast speeds and also at the subatomic level. In effect, time can be bent, warped and turned in on itself. A bit like a space-time donut. Very strong gravity, such as that experienced in a black hole, can slow down and even freeze time for eternity, for any observer looking into it. You see, any two observers will perceive events in different time frames. This only becomes obvious to us when speeds approaching the speed of light are achieved. If a twin is sent off on a space journey at half the speed of light for a number of years, when he returns back to the Earth, he will be younger than his Earth-bound twin, both physically and according to the date he believes it is. At the subatomic level, things get even stranger. It turns out that particles behave in a non-local way. Something one particle does over there somehow affects how another behaves over here, instantaneously. Discrepancies in this quantum foam, such as wormholes, open up the amazing possibility of time travel, parallel universes, and time existing at all times, at the same time. This is clearly breaking down our laws governing our linear view of time.
but I would like to emphasize that these are not all purely theoretical ideas. Many of these are proven facts within our current understanding of time. So the most common, intrusive and essential component of our existence turns out to be the most elusive to define. We cannot state what it really is. We cannot say how it truly behaves. It feels as natural to us as life itself, but at the same time, seems not to really exist at all.